You've heard recipe cards are important, right? You ever wonder why they're so important? Especially when your chef says, I generally know what my protein costs. I generally know what my side dish costs. You know, I I'm doing ra a great job. We're making money. Well, if you generally know what your protein costs, you generally know what your side costs, you generally ain't making money. I want you to think about this. Is the restaurant business an industry of pennies or dollars? It's pennies. They all matter. So why are they so important? What are they going to do for me? I'm going to show you what recipe costing cards can do for you in just two seconds. This is Dave Scott Peters of the RestaurantExpert.com, and I'm thrilled to be talking about this topic. When it comes to recipe costing cards, I speak all over the country, in fact, the world, but primarily the United States, almost on a weekly basis. Talking to restaurant owners and managers just like you, the importance of recipe costing cards. And I get this glazed over look, like I don't need recipe cards, I generally know. Well, you generally ain't making money. Because here's the deal, in any other industry, if you don't know what something costs, how the hell do you sell it, right? How do you know what to sell it for? Oh, in our industry, we're the only ones that we eyeball something and say, Psh, I should charge $10. Really? So let me show you what goes into a recipe costing card and what we do with them, why they're so valuable. Let me switch the screen here real quick. Now, here we go. We're in our software called Smart Systems Pro to use as an example. I'm going to go into the food systems here, go to my recipe costing cards, and I'm going to show you how quickly it is and, uh, to build a recipe costing card and why it's so damn important in a second. Just click on this plus symbol, comes up here, I've got to decide whether it's an item or a batch recipe. Batch recipe is an ingredient, side dish, sauce, basically an ingredient we'd use in an item. An item recipe is something we sell. I'm going to put my cook's name in here. Brad's always my cook, a good friend of mine, used to work for us. Uh, I'm going to say my test, uh, let's say, let's do chicken sandwich. Chick sandwich, okay? It's my test. We're going to say YouTube because, hey, we're on YouTube right now. Why don't we correct that real quick? This is live. <laughs> so here we go. Then we base on our menu category. This is later for setup to know what our ideal cost should be, things like that. It's my sandwich burger section, active. I click save. Took me a couple seconds here. Now, I want to put the ingredients in. Now, well, it's a database, so all I've got to do, it's not all this crazy fine invoices and stuff. Everything's in the system. I just click on the plus symbol here, and I type in chicken, and I'm going to use this shamrock chicken breast usage unit. So I change it to a single ounce. It's a five-ounce breast. Click save. Click on the plus symbol again. Let's say I need cheese. So it's only the cheese that's in my system, this American loaf. I'm going to use it by the usage unit, two usable ounces here. Click on the plus symbol one more time. Let's say I need some bacon. And in my case, bacon is a batch recipe because I buy it by the pound. I use it by the each. I've got to figure out what each slice costs. So I come down here to the portion. It's a single slice. I'm going to use two slices on it. Click save. Click on the plus symbol one more time. I'm going to add a setup. I'm going to use this burger setup that I created that's a batch recipe. This way, I always has a lettuce, a piece of lettuce, a, a uh, slice of tomato, an onion, a pickle. I don't have to redo it every single time I do a recipe. Oh, I need to put a portion in there, one. And I'm going to do one more thing here. I'm going to add myself a bun. Use this hamburger bun, usage unit, a one each. Last but not least, I lied and need a little potato wedges on this thing. I need a side. Potato wedge. I'm going to use these ultimate potato wedges. I'm going to use usage unit, put five ounces on the plate, save, I'm done. I can drag and drop these, I can add things, but really I don't care about that right now. For this example, I know the cost of this recipe. I know my ideal cost for my, my budget is 22%, but I'm okay with a, you know, a, a higher food cost because I understand menu mix. So when I come down here, I say my potential price is $12, but wait a second, you know what? I'm okay with a 28% for the sandwich. Maybe I don't want to get $12 for it. I charge $9.74. Wow. So recipe costing cards can tell me what I should or need to sell an item for. Because if it was too expensive, I could reduce the portion sizes and so on. But in this case, I'm going to charge $10.50. That's what I've deemed is my market. I click calculate and save. Now I'm going to look, I'm going to run a 25.98% food cost on this item and I'm going to make $7.77 in cash contribution, contribution margin. This is huge. Now there's a lot of other benefits. Let me show you a, a completed recipe costing card. So real quick here, I'm going to find my all American burger. Search. I'm going to open this up. Now, 
There's product knowledge we can put in there. We put uh, a whole bunch, how we cook versus how we cost. Well, here's a completed card. I can upload a photograph. I can put in build chart, mise en place, recipe instructions. Heck, I can put a QR code in. So when my cooks open up the, the, their web browser, they take their phone, click on it. Next thing you know, they're watching a video training them how to do it. I can print off a recipe costing card for my cost book. I can have a recipe card how we cook and a training card for my employees that they need to know that we use Vidalia onions that are exceptionally sweet, come from one crop a year. Now I've got all my systems. So what's one of the reasons I need recipe costing cards? It doesn't matter who works for me, they're my recipes and they go on and they're trainable time after time after time. Well, let me show you what else we do. I'm gonna go to something here we call menu profit generator. If I get my menu mix, what my customers actually purchase, along with my recipe costing cards. I can come in here and what I like to do is I like to sort this from the quantity sold, m what I sell the most of to the least. Now, when all said and done, I come down here to the bottom, I hi I'm highlighting 22.54%. I now know if my kitchen manager or chef followed every recipe perfectly, no waste, no theft, no spoilage, perfect restaurant, which does not exist. My food cost should be a 22.54%. That doesn't mean I'm looking for a 22% for my actual. In fact, I know that we're not robots. I'm gonna give my manager a point and a half to two points higher than this number. That means I'd expect a 23 and a half to, uh, well, I'm sorry, let's try this again. 24, uh, 24 to, to 24 and a half percent food cost. That's my actual. So now with recipe costing cards, I can measure my kitchen to see how well they're executing my recipes. But better yet, I can take the power of profitability in my fingertips. I can come into each section and I can review what's happening. I can raise prices on my top items. Well, maybe if I look at this, my chicken sandwich down below is $12.95 and this is my most popular. Take that up to $12.95, my top two sandwiches. Then I come down here and I look for items that maybe the food cost looks really, really high and like this 78%. And I say, wait a second, is there an error in my recipe card or did brisket go through the roof? And I re-engineer the recipe to reduce that in half. Then I come down here and I get rid of my losers, like these 55 burgers. I'm not selling one a day. I not only take those away, but I add them somewhere else to the mix. So 89, 89 93 plus so 9, 48. So my new number is 948, assuming the customer would buy that. Well, I can do this for each of my sections. I save it and all of a sudden I reduce my food cost by damn near a point here. And what I really care about is my contribution margin. I only changed a few things, but all of a sudden by doing this, I can make up for the increase in, in prices, my higher labor costs. I can do all these things. And the first time I do this, I can reduce my food costs three to seven points. Why a recipe costing cards imperative? Right here, right now. Now look, if you wanna learn a little bit more about what we do here at the restaurantexpert.com and how we can help you with your recipe costing cards with software just like I showed you, do me a favor, give us a call toll free at 1-877-457-6278, dial extension 106, ask for Greg Sauerbach. He's our solutions coach. Now I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, we're not right for everybody, I just like to think we are. So Greg is gonna take 15 minutes of your time, learn more about you and your business. Find out what your needs are. Tell you what we do. See if there's a possible fit. At the end of that call, you can say, Greg, this is not for me. We're done. Or if you have more questions, we'll set up a demo. And you, can, you and your team, as long as you have internet access and a phone, we can share our screen, show you what the software does, tell you about membership. And if you think it's right, we'd love to have you. If not, you just say, no, we're done. Because one of the things I'm going to tell you, this is not easy. Meaning it's easy as far as getting it done. It's hard because it takes time. And if you're not ready for the work, if you're not ready to make the money you deserve, then we're not right for you. But if now is the time, if you feel like your new year's coming up, if you feel like you can't stand another minimum wage increase or food increase on your invoice that comes in every single week, you want to take action. We're here to help. Now do me a favor. If you want to learn something more about recipe cost cards, put it down in the comment section below what you want to learn about recipe cards so I can do a video for you. And before you go, like this video. If you liked it, just click on the little like symbol, help a brother out. Otherwise, you also might want to um, subscribe to this channel right now. So I post videos like this on a weekly basis. It'll notify you. And before you go, in about two more seconds, I'm going to show you two videos that just might help you.